back, back up top. In the corner now, first shot of the game. Up, it rattles around, it's no good, and it's gonna be off of the Raiders. So Kellogg will get their first crack at it here in the second game of the doubleheader. Just underway. Running the point is Jalen Jackson. First shot by Kellogg is off the mark. Rebounded by the Raiders. They're looking to run down the right-hand side as Joe Francis has it. He'll pop from 18. It's off the mark, and it's going to go out of bounds. You're going to say it'll be Raiders' ball. Good hustle out there by Alex Enos. Going to work in the post. Back up top. Three ball. A little long, and it's going to be rebounded by uh, Jalen Jackson. Raiders will inbound in front of the, uh, right by the bench over there of Kellogg. Back up top. Three ball up, and that's no good. No score early here as the Bruins will get going back the other way. It's like the Raiders starting in a little 1 2 2 zone. As it goes inside, it's tipped away. Driving baseline shot up in the first bucket of the game. Just scored by Jameer Carnell, the 6'2 freshman. Hey, if you want to follow along with stats, go to grccraiders.com, find today's game, and there's a live stat link. All you got to do is push that, and you can uh, follow along with the stats. Little floater on the left side by Willem. Willman, and that's no good. Quickly back the other way. Bruins with a shot up. That's no good. And we're going to have a foul. That's going to be whistled on Jalen Jackson of the Bruins. Nice pass inside, shot up, no good. Jackson will run it back the other way. Back up top, Jackson with a three ball on the way. That's no good, and it's rebounded by the Raiders. Two and a half been played, and there's a three, and that's good. Joe Francis gets the Raiders on the board. It's there on top, three to two. There's a steal by the Raiders up ahead. And getting the two-handed flush. Tristan McRoberts goes up and gets a two-handed dunk. He's out of Melrose Mindoro, Wisconsin. Back the other way in the paint. And getting the bucket for Kellogg was Kobe Watson. That'll make it five to four. Three ball right side, and that's just off the mark. Ball's loose as Kellogg goes cross court. Three up, and that's good. That's Keandre Nelson with a long range three. That'll give Bruins their first lead, seven to five. Little backdoor cut, shot up, no good. They're letting him play. This Kellogg will run the other way. 
Little floater up, no good. Good defense by Enos. Shot up, no good. And they're going to stay with it on the Bruin end. Kellogg will inbound underneath their basket. In the paint. Shot up. No good. And Raiders. Well, they're going to say it went off the back of the backboard. So it's going to be Kellogg ball underneath their hoop. So the Bruins will inbound, and that gets knocked away. Well, the lights just dimmed a little bit here. Joe Fox is adjusting the light. Well, no, he's calling somebody on his phone. He must know an electrician. So we'll see what's going to happen here. As now it's getting a little darker. Well, I think everyone should just turn on their cell phones right now, and that might lighten this place up. And now both teams are going to their benches for a second, and now the lights are getting brighter. I don't think I've ever broadcast lights before. Everyone's kind of looking at each other. Well, do you think it's bright enough? And... I wish I could say both teams are shooting the lights out, but we're just underway. All right, here we go. Well, the bottom line is it's the same for both teams. So Raiders inbounded in the backcourt. They get it across the timeline. With the basketball, it's Wilman. It's out of Flushing, Michigan. Down in the corner, it goes uh, Javante Jones. Back up top to J.D. DeGroote. Little crossover down in the corner. Spot up three on the way. It's no good. Kellogg with the rebound. Er Shot up. That's no good. Raiders will run again. Little floater up, no good. And that's going to be blocked. Tipped around, and Raiders get it back. Little floater in the paint is no good. So far, GRCC shooting two for 14. Kellogg is three for, now four for 10. And they have the lead nine to five with 14.25 left to go here in the first half. Little high screen and roll. Good switch there by the Bruins. Goes down in the corner to Jones. Jones a little step back three on the way. That comes up off the mark. Looking to run is Nelson. In the corner. Three ball on the way. It's no good. And it's rebounded by the Raiders. We got a travel called, so it's going to go back the other way. Checking in for the Bruins, it's going to be Brandon Moore and also Connor McCleary. And we got a sub checking in for GRCC. That's Mason Wilcox. He's out of Boyne City. Third 
13.50 left here in the first half. As Miller will set it up. Little backdoor cut. Shot up and it's swatted out of bounds. Daryl Belcher from Catholic Central swats it out of bounds. Near steel, now it's on the ground. And we got a timeout. So it's a 30. We'll take a quick timeout here. You're listening to Raider Basketball on YouTube. Are you looking for a new career? Aetna Supply is hiring. Aetna Supply is Michigan's number one plumber wholesaler, servicing local customers for over 50 years. They offer great benefits, 401k with company match, quarterly bonuses, and no Sundays. Once again, check them out at aetnasupply.com slash careers or click on their logo on the Michigan Sports Radio homepage. Welcome back, everybody. 1320 left here in the first half with the Bruins from Kellogg Community College on top. Bruins will have it out of bounds. And there is a shot clock violation. Thirteen seventeen here in the first half. Nine five. Bruins on top. Getting it across the timeline. It's Javante Jones. He'll float one up and Jones gets the bucket. Javante Jones with his first bucket of the game. Both teams are a little chilly right now. It's the Raiders are 3 of 16 for 18%. Bruins 4 of 13. That'll heat up, though. We are early in this game. We only got seven minutes under our belt. Little floater in the paint, and that'll get the roll. With the bucket is uh, Mikhail Miller. As Jones gets it across the timeline, he'll get a screen from Belcher. Shot up, no good, and good hustle play there by Mason Wilcox. He runs it down and throws it off the uh, Bruins player. So the Raiders will have it underneath their hoop. Little high screen up top is... Jones goes to his left, passes it over. Three ball on the way by, uh, check that, Jones with a three. And we're going to have a travel call. It's going to go back to the Raiders. It's inbounded in the backcourt. Walking it up is going to be J.D. DeGroote. He prepped at Hamilton last year. Hamilton made a great run in the uh, tournament. Three ball in the corner on the way. Rattles around. It's no good. And it's rebounded by the Bruins. Sprint it up is Miller. Raiders still in that zone. There's a three ball left side. That's no good. Left side, nice pass, shot up and off the glass. It's Javante Jones. Makes it an 11-9 Brewer lead right now. A 
little inside out as the three balls up, and that's good. Tough shot. Hit the bottom of the net was Jakeem Cole. In the paint, floater up, and that's good. Nice shot. As Daryl Boucher gets the bucket. That's his first bucket of the day. 14-11 the score. Three ball top of the key on the way. That is no good. Rebounded by Jones who looks to push. Belcher runs it down. And there's a steal. Going back the other way is Moore. Moore floats in the paint. He gets it off the glass. Nice shot by Moore. That makes it 16-11. We just hit the halfway point of the first half. Taking it in and getting it off the glass on a nice drive with J.D. DeGroote. Going to work on the right side. Seven on the shot clock. Three ball from the wing. And that's good by Brandon Moore. Moore with his eighth point of the day. Long three back the other way. And Mason Wilcox hits a long range three. So the Bruins are going to call timeout. 1916. Hey, I got a giveaway for anybody listening at home. All right, attention all golfers. If you aren't ready to put your clubs away for the winter, the Leaderboard Indoor Golf has it covered. They have over 500 courses, a full bar, 17 TVs, and they're the perfect place to work on your game throughout the winter. You can host events there and parties, and you can also complete in leagues. So here's the giveaway. On Facebook, go to the Leaderboard Indoor Golf Facebook page. Find their page and in the comment section type in the letters MSR. That stands for Michigan Sports Radio. They have a gift card giveaway post. Put MSR there and you have a chance to win a $100 uh, gift card. That will be announced on November 20th. So during the timeout, go over to the Leaderboard Indoor Golf Facebook page. In the comments, type MSR. And then, that's all you need to do, and then hope that they pick your name. Well, right now we have a 1916 ball game. Raiders are now at 7 of 23 for 30 percent. The Bruins are up to 8 of 19 for 42 percent. Raiders 2 of 10 from beyond the arc. 3 of 9 for the Bruins. Neither team has attempted a free throw yet. And the Bruins will get it coming out of the timeout. 8.56 left here in the half. Picking it in and getting the high glasser to fall was Makai Miller. And the Raiders went over the uh, over the uh, inbound line, so Bruins will get it right back. Little floater in the paint on its way, no good. Going up high for the rebound was J.D. DeGroot. And we got to travel. It's going to go back the other way. <laughs> My 
Kai Miller with it across the timeline. Raiders have switched to a man-to-man -man defense, it looks like. Left side, 18-footer up, and that's good. With the bucket was Connor McCleary. Nice little spin move up top, a little floater in the paint, no good. Rebounded by Kellogg. Left side. Baseline floater up, and that's good. Bruins on a little mini run here. This three ball back for the Raiders that rattles in and out with the rebound, and the putback was Daryl Belcher. Belcher with four points on the day now. He, him and Jones lead the Raiders with four each. Right beyond the free throw line with a nice floater there was Makai Miller. 27-18 Bruins. Raiders setting it up top as they'll go to the left hand side. JD DeGroote ties it up and it's gonna go up ahead. Going in and getting the layup is Jakeem Cole. 29-18, Bruins up. 6.51 left. Going to have wholesale substitutions. It's Francis is going to come back in. Spencer Wilhelm, Tristan McRoberts, uh, Alex Enos, and I missed somebody out there. Uh, I believe it was probably Joe Francis. So Raiders... With their starters in. Nice fadeaway and getting the roll was Francis. Francis with five now. Raiders back into his zone. Little floater in the paint up. No good. It's going to go out of bounds off of the Raiders. And Kobe Watson's going to check back in for the Bruins. with it up top and that gets kicked out of bounds so it's going to come back to the Raiders trailing by nine with 610 left here in the first half Raiders sprint it up on the floor. Second like team foul. 603 left is the Raiders will inbound it. Now unless I'm seeing something I just looked at the team fouls and the Bruins have two. The Raiders have not committed a foul yet. That's impressive, especially since we played 14 minutes already. Two would be great. Three ball left hand side. It's no good. Following it up nice was Willman. Nice pass by Willman, and he hits a cutting uh, Enos. So Enos with a bucket. 29 22 now. Long skip pass in the corner, spotting up for a three, and it's no good. Good hustle, though, following his shot was Tucker, and he's rewarded with the hustle with the bucket. 31-22 now. Ooh, and there's a steal. And blocking the attempted dunk. Good hustle there by McRoberts. 
I don't think that Carnell saw him coming. And now we're going to have a foul going to the stripe. For the Raiders, it's going to be Spencer Wilman. Third team foul. Two shotter. First one is good. James Isaiah Moore checks in. Second one is no good. Raiders back into a 2-3 zone this trip. In the corner. Well, they pass it inside instead. Kellogg moving the ball around the perimeter. Now a floater in the paint. Shot up. It's no good. And uh, Raiders get the rebound. They're sprinting it up the floor as Wilman has it. Checking in for Kellogg, it's going to be uh, Keandre Nelson. Raiders will inbound it underneath their bucket. Tristan McRoberts has it. Three ball on the inbound pass is no good. Raiders retrieve it. Little 18 footer on the way, that's no good. Raiders chilly from the outside as they're 10 for 30. As we hit the four minute mark, shot up. And what do we got? So Skydema gets whistled with a foul. That's the first foul called on the Raiders so far here in the first half. At the line would be Kobe Watson. Free throw on the way is no good. Checking in for the Raiders was Belcher. He checked in for Francis. Second free throw on the way is good. That makes it 32-23. Kellogg showing pressure. Raiders are going to break it. They got a three on two. Spot up three, left side. It's no good. And Kellogg will turn around and sprint down. They'll float it up and get the bucket. It's tough to see Kellogg's numbers. They're black jerseys with a blue number. There is an outline on them, but it's hard to pick up. I'm sitting in the – I don't sit center court. I, I'm actually up away, so – if I get one of the players wrong, I apologize. We are going to have a foul on the floor. That was foul on James Isaiah Moore. Inbound in it will be Seth Skydema. He played at Grant. the inbounds. Raiders moving around the perimeter. There's five on the shot clock. Spot up three. It's no good. As Cala gets a rebound. We just hit the three minute mark. Little stop and pop on the way. No good. Raiders with a rebound. 
Alex Enos from Chip Hills with the board. Little spin move, now it goes in the corner. Step back three on the way, that's no good. Kellogg with a rebound. Raiders are chilly from the outside. They're two of 17. Kellogg is three of 11 from beyond the arc. Really the storyline right now is this chilly shooting by the Raiders. They're only trailing 11 and not shooting that great. A lot of time left. We've got a whole nother half plus a little over two minutes here in this one. A little floater in the paint. That's blocked. Sprint it down is Cole. He goes up and what do we got? We're going to get a foul called. Cole uh, Belcher went up high. So Belcher gets whistled with a foul. Hits first. Team number two. So Jakeem Cole, the freshman. First free throw is good. And the second one is good as well. Kyle Miller. Jack Agamont checking back in. So here we go back the other way as the Raiders will set it up. Shot inside is Spencer Willman, and he gets the finger roll. Little floater, left-hander floater up, and that's no good. And it's run down. By the Raiders, 120 left in the half. 25 Raiders, 36 Bruins. In the corner, spot up, three on the way, and it's good. Big bucket there by Wilman. As we have one minute left in the half. You knew one of those was gonna fall. As Wilman has his sixth point, that leads the Raiders. See if they can get another one here before half. As Wilman loses it out of bounds. Driving to the right side. Long skip pass in the corner. Spot up three on the way. That's good. The southpaw. Keandre Nelson with the three. That extends the lead back to 11. Let's see if the Raiders go for the last shot here with 15 seconds left. And we got a floater. No, they're going to call foul on the floor instead. I believe that's the bonus. Yeah, that's a six-team foul. They don't waste any time. They're really quick on the uh, scoreboard over there. Raiders in the paint. Shot up off the glass, and that drops. And that'll be it for the half. 
39-30 the score. Going through some stats here. Jackson, or excuse me, Watson has three. This is for Kellogg. Carnell with two. Nelson with six. Tucker with two. Moore with five. Cole with nine. Miller with eight. And McCleary with four. DeGroote with two for the Raiders. Belcher with six. That leads the Raiders along with Willman with six. Francis with five. McRoberts with two. Enos with two. Wilcox with three. And Jones with four. That gives them a total of 30. The uh, Raiders 13 of 38 for 34 percent, three of 18 for 16 percent from beyond the arc. Oh, one of two from the free throw line. And Kellogg 16 of 36 for 44 percent. They're four of 13 from beyond the arc, three of four from the stripe. It's at the half. Bruins are up 39-30. We'll be back in about 12 minutes. Uh, one more time, if you're interested in registering for a hundred dollar gift card, head over and like. The Leaderboard, The Leaderboard Indoor Golf, like their Facebook page. They're located in Grand Rapids on Plainfield. Uh, it's an indoor golf facility. Go to their Facebook page, and in the comments, type in the letter MSR. That stands for Michigan Sports Radio. Just put MSR. They have a post that says gift card giveaway, and they'll be giving away a $100 gift card on the 20th. We'll be back. Looking for fresh food, variety, and great deals? Shop your local Family Fair supermarket and sign up for our Yes Rewards program for everyday savings, exclusive digital coupons, rewards, and other special perks. Plus, you can use your Yes account to shop online with the Fastlane, our new online grocery shopping service. Just order online, select pickup, and we'll do all your shopping for you. It's that easy. To learn more about shopping with Yes at Family Fair, visit shopfamilyfair.com. Are you looking to buy or sell your home? Let the professionals at Remax United help you with the best move you'll ever make. Tom and Tracy Rich and their professional team have locations in Rockford, Grand Rapids, and Greenville. With their state-of-the-art web tools and technology, plus their relentless work ethic, they have become one of the most trusted and respected agents in Michigan. Check them out online at Remax-Rockford.com. Roots Chris Steakhouse Grand Rapids is the very best choice for an unforgettable evening with family, friends, and colleagues. Create memorable experiences and celebrate with the sizzle of a steak served on a 500-degree plate. The casual elegance and atmosphere makes Roots Chris Steakhouse Grand Rapids the perfect location for every occasion. Visit us online at RootsChris.com. This is how it's done. Need to replace that worn-out carpet or floor? Floor Coverings International makes it easy. They bring their mobile showroom to you. Save yourself the trip and gas shopping around. See a wide selection of carpet, hardwood, laminate, and vinyl in the lighting of your own home. Go to FloorCoveringsInternational.com today for your free consultation. Work with one team for a hassle-free experience from the quote to installation. And each Floor Coverings International business is independently owned and operated, so they are local business owners in our community. Floor Coverings International, the flooring store at your door. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. We call it our passion at Dean Transportation and Dean Trailways. For more than 60 years, Dean has connected students to learning, public schools to our communities, sports teams to their championships, and you to a purpose-filled career. Dean is now hiring school bus drivers, motor coach operators, and diesel technicians throughout Michigan at DeanJobs.com. We'll pay you to train and coach you along the way. If you're newly retired or looking to start a flexible career, visit DeanJobs.com for a list of openings or contact us at DeanJobs.com today. Are you looking for a new career? Aetna Supply is hiring. Aetna Supply is Michigan's number one plumber wholesaler, servicing local customers for over 50 years. They offer great benefits, 401k with company match, quarterly bonuses, and no Sundays. Once again, check them out at aetnasupply.com slash careers or click on their logo on the Michigan Sports Radio homepage. Bowling is a great time that combines great friends, football, and bowling. Compete against your friends or family, throwing a football at 10 real bowling pins. The Folding Warehouse has over 30 lanes inside a 45,000 square foot facility. You can bring in your own food or they have a pair of 45 foot bars featuring soft drinks and adult beverages. Visit FoldingWarehouse.com Grand Rapids 
to reserve your lanes. Looking for a great place to buy a used truck or car? Check out Extreme Truck and Auto Center, located at 1098 O'Malley Drive in Coopersville. They have a huge selection of trucks, cars, vans, and SUVs. Stop by their lot or give them a call at 616-384-3777. You can check out their inventory at xtacenter.com. For almost 60 years, Earhart Construction has successfully built some of the most well-known structures and facilities across the West Michigan landscape. Providing a distinctive construction experience for our clients has been Earhart's priority since the beginning and it continues to be their primary focus today. We can't wait to make your next commercial or residential project a reality. Contact us today by visiting EarhartCC.com.
Welcome back, everybody. We are about ready to get this second half underway as the Bruins from Kellogg'sville Community College are on top of the Raiders from Grand Rapids Community College by a score of 39-30. Well, really, the uh, big storyline right now is the shooting percentage as I'm going to try to pull those stats back up. Once again, if you want to follow along with the stats, if you go to grccraiders.com, find today's game in the men's schedule. There will be a link over on the right side that says live stats. If you click on that, the stats will come up. There's a lot of different things. I always click on the split box because that gives you a little side-by-side -side action. Uh, leading scorer is Cole for Kellogg. That's uh, Jakeem Cole for the Raiders. It's uh, Spencer Willman and also Daryl Belcher. Raiders will get it. Uh, no, check that. Um, Kellogg will get it first start the second half. Another key stat, you look at team fouls. Kellogg had six the entire first half. Raiders only two. No one is in foul trouble. Kellogg start with a little back door, and Raiders, I talk about fouls. There's a first one on the Raiders. That's going to be on Spencer Willman. It's a two shotter. First one, it's no good. Second one up, and that rattles out. So a missed pair, quickly up ahead, and missing the layup with Daryl Belcher. Kellogg goes right out, right back to work as they pass it over to McCleary, and he takes it to the bucket and gets the hoop. 41-30 now, Bruins up. Going to go a little high screen and roll. Taking it in and getting the hoop is Spencer Wilman. Coach Fox up. Under 19 minutes now. Eight on the shot clock. And a three ball on the way. It's no good. Long rebound. It's going to be corralled by Spencer Wilman. He's out of Flushing, Michigan. Taking it in was Javante Jones, and he misses a short one. Good ball movement as it goes out on the wing. Shot up, no good though. That got poked from behind. It's gonna go out of bounds. So we got 18-14 left here in the basketball game with the Raiders trailing the Bruins 41-32. Three ball, it's no good. Kellogg looking to run. Shot up, and that's no good. Right back the other way, Raiders with numbers, and taking it in, shot up, off the window, and Woodman with another basket. That cuts the deficit to seven. Woodman with 10 now on the night. As he leads All scores. We're going to have a foul. That's Devontae Jones gets whistled with it. And that's the second team foul on the Raiders. Uh, 
Down in the corner now. Taking it to the right side is Miller. And he gets the bucket. That bounced around for quite a while. Foul's whistled on Jack Agama. So Cole will go for the old-fashioned three-point play. First free throw. It's no good. I should say the free throw. Put back it's no good, and it's loose. And finally the Raiders come away with it. They'll look to run down the left-hand side. Nice pass, and getting the bucket and the foul. That is Javante Jones with a great pass by Spencer Willman. Fouls whistled on Connor McCleary. So Jones trying to make it a six-point deficit. His free throw is good. 43-37 now. 17-10 left to play. You got a good ball game going here. Hope you're enjoying it at home. Pass inside, shot up, and that's no good. They're letting them play tonight on both sides, which is great. Little uh, crossover. Back in the corner. Good peek at it, and then it's in and out. There's a steal back the other way. In the corner, almost an instant replay, but this one, ah, still off the mark. Right side. Uh, and there's a steal by Kellogg. Shot up, and it's tipped from behind, but it goes. With the bucket for the Bulldogs was Brandon Moore. Sixteen minute mark. Spin move is blocked. And blocked back the other way, going up and swatting it out of bounds is Spencer Willman. He got up. Coach Fox is going to call a timeout. Bruins on top, 45-37, 14-48 left. We'll be right back. Bowling is a great time that combines great friends, football, and bowling. Compete against your friends or family, throwing a football at 10 real bowling pins. The Folding Warehouse has over 30 lanes inside a 45,000 square foot facility. You can bring in your own food or they have a pair of 45 foot bars featuring soft drinks and adult beverages. Visit FoldingWarehouse.com Grand Rapids to reserve your lanes. Looking for a great place to buy a used truck or car? Check out Extreme Truck and Auto Center, located at 1098 O'Malley Drive in Coopersville. They have a huge selection of trucks, cars, vans, and SUVs. Stop by their lot or give them a call at 616-384-3777. You can check out their inventory at xtacenter.com. For almost 60 years, Earhart Construction has successfully built some of the most well-known structures and facilities across the West Michigan landscape. Providing a distinctive construction experience for our clients has been Earhart's priority since the beginning and it continues to be their primary focus today. We can't wait to make your next commercial or residential project a reality. Contact us today by visiting EarhartCC.com. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Brock Conkle. Hope you're enjoying tonight's basketball game between Kellogg Community College and the Raiders from Grand Rapids Community College. Coming out of the timeout, Kellogg will have it underneath their hoop. <laughs> Kellogg setting it up top. Ten 
on the shot clock. Raiders playing a man to man D. Little pop from the top of the key by Jakeem Cole, and he gets the bucket. Jakeem with 11 now to lead the Bruins. Little spinner in the paint, shot up, and it comes up short. As Kellogg looks to run, we just hit the 15 minute mark. Spotting up, three ball, no good. Running it back is Willman. Goes into the corner with it. Taking it in and getting the bucket is Javante Jones on a nice take. Little baseline drive there by Mr. Jones. Eight point deficit. Little floater now is good. Nice shot there by Cole. He's got 15 now. Over on the right-hand side with it is uh, Agama back up top. Little weave going on now from the free throw line. Agama drills it. Jack Agama gets his fourth point of the day. Right back the other way, shot up, and that's blocked. Bruins run it down. They'll get it. Little floater. It's no good. 49-41 Bruins. Oh, they stole it. They got a free. Well, good hustle play there by Kellogg. Uh, that was more. Brandon Moore with the putback. Probably um, Agama kind of threw one up there. Kellogg back the other way. That gets blocked. Put back up, and that's good, though. Kamarian Tucker with a put back. We're going to have five new guys coming in next stoppage of play for the Raiders. That leads back up to 12. Good job following his shot and getting rewarded is Daryl Belcher. Back to a 10-point deficit. Kellogg's slowing it down this trip. Nice pass. Getting the bucket off the feed was more from Tucker. Fifty-five forty-three Bruins, twelve fifteen left, and Coach Fox is gonna call a timeout. All right, we're going to take a timeout, too. We'll be right back. Need to replace that worn-out carpet or floor? Floor Coverings International makes it easy. They bring their mobile showroom to you. Save yourself the trip and gas shopping around. See a wide selection of carpet, hardwood, laminate, and vinyl in the lighting of your own home. Go to FloorCoveringsInternational.com today for your free consultation. Work with one team for a hassle-free experience from the quote to installation. And each Floor Coverings International business is independently owned and operated, so they are local business owners in our community. Floor Coverings International, the flooring store at your door. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. We call it our passion at Dean Transportation and Dean Trailways. For more than 60 years, Dean has connected students to learning, public schools to our communities, sports teams to their championships, and you to a purpose-filled career. Dean is now hiring school bus drivers, motor coach operators, and diesel technicians throughout Michigan at DeanJobs.com. We'll pay you to train and coach you along the way. If you're newly retired or looking to start a flexible career, visit DeanJobs.com for a list of openings or contact us at DeanJobs.com today. Are you looking for a new career? Aetna Welcome back, everybody. We have a 55-43 ball game with the Bruins on top of the Raiders. Raiders haven't really made that run yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Second half shooting a little better. Raiders are 6 of 15 for 40%. The Bruins are 8 of 21 for 38%. Nobody's connected from beyond the arc yet here in the second half. 
Raiders inbounding it by their bench. Left side, little step back three is going to hit the side of the backboard. And Kellogg will run back with it. Twenty on the shot. Raiders hit a man-to-man -man defense. We've seen them play, <laughs> excuse me, a zone as well. D is really heating up. Shot up, it's no good. The tap back is good though. Maybe but um uh, Kamari and Tucker kept battling, and he extends the Bruins' lead now to 57-43. It was down to six. And we're going to have a hold. Foul up top. That's going to be whistled on Tucker. Spin around Jay on the way, and Joe Francis gets a bucket. Back to a 12 point deficit. Both teams with four timeouts left. And there's a steal by the Raiders. And getting the bucket was Joe Francis. Raiders trap. They picked up the D since that last time out. Little floater up high, it's no good. And working it hard and getting the bucket with Condre Nelson. Back to a 12-point lead for the Bruins. And there's a steal. Taking it in and getting the bucket coast to coast was Nelson. Bruins on a 4-0 run as we hit the 10-minute mark. We're going to have a foul. That's going to be whistled on number 14 of Kellogg. That's Keandre Nelson. So good. Nice drive inside, but it's, well, there's going to be a foul. They're going to whistle that, I believe, but we'll see. That's on um, J.D. DeGroote. Free throw is good. At the line is Kamari Tucker. Second one is no good, but now we have a foul on the Bruins. That's on Kobe Watson. Both teams with four top four. Uh, fouls now. Fifteen footer right side off the mark, put back, rolls in and drops. I believe that was DeGroote on the put back. Raiders need to get a little run going here. They haven't, they've had little 4-0 runs, but every time they get something going, Kellogg 
um, answers pretty quickly. Splitting the defenders and going in and getting it off the window is Joe Francis. All of a sudden, it's an 11-point lead, 62-51 for the Bruins. Under nine to go. Raiders extending the pressure. As a uh, nice take and getting the bucket was Tucker. Tucker's got nine now. Ten footer up and that's good. Skydema gets his first bucket of the game. So that 11 point deficit as we're hitting the eight, well, we still got a little bit, 8.15 left. That shot's no good. Oh, the Raiders are gonna lose it out of bounds. And Kellogg Community College is gonna call a timeout. They're up 64 to 53. Well, in the second half, the Raiders 11 to 23 for 48%. 0 6 from beyond the arc. Bruins 12 to 30 for 40%. 0 5 beyond the arc. Leading scorer for Kellogg is Jakeem Cole with 13, followed by Makai Miller with 10. Also, um, Keandre Nelson has 10. Francis leads the charge for the Raiders with 11, followed by Wilman with 10. Jones has 9, Belcher with 8. Well, once again, if you want to register for a chance to win a $100 gift card, head over and like the Leaderboard Indoor Golf Facebook page and comment MSR on their gift card giveaway post. That giveaway will take place on Monday. Seen a good ball game. At the half, it was 39-30. So here in the second half so far, Kellogg has outscored the Raiders 25-23. to Looking at the foul situation, both teams have four. As Kellogg will inbound out of the timeout. Shot, nice pass inside and getting the bucket was Kobe Watson. Under eight to go, three ball up, no good. Yes. Kellogg misses a couple inside, they retain possession though, shot up, no good, and it's rebounded by the Raiders. With the board was J.D. DeGroote, out of Hamilton. Shot up inside, that's no good. Joe Francis misses a tight one. Good crowd here on hand tonight as well. As people got to see some doubleheader action. Back up top, three ball is no good. Up high for the board was McRoberts. And that's going to well, I believe it's going to be Kellogg Ball. going to be on Dominic McRoberts. Kellogg set 
run it up top. Little tip from behind. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Kellogg ball. Right down in the corner. Right in front of where I sit. There's eight seconds on the shot clock. That's going to be a two if it goes, and it does. Tough shot as Kamari and Tucker hits a big one there as the shot clock was winding down. That extends the lead to 15. Right back the other way, taking it in for the bucket is Woman, and he gets fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Five team fouls on both teams now. Ooh, that comes up short. So Kellogg with the board. We're approaching that six minute mark here. A lot of time left for the Raiders. As Kellogg takes it inside, that's Wack. Raiders with numbers. And going in and getting fouled. Going to the free throw line will be Tristan McRoberts. He'll shoot a couple. Got an injured Raider down here. So it'll be a two-shotter. Well, the first free throw is no good. It's a two-shotter. Second one is good. So we got a 12-point game. A timeout by the Raiders. We'll be right back. Looking for fresh food, variety, and great deals? Shop your local Family Fair supermarket and sign up for our Yes Rewards program for everyday savings, exclusive digital coupons, rewards, and other special perks. Plus, you can use your Yes account to shop online with the Fast Lane our new online grocery shopping service. Just order online, select pickup, and we'll do all your shopping for you. It's that easy. To learn more about shopping with Yes at Family Fair, visit shopfamilyfair.com. Welcome back. 68, 56, 552 left to play. We are sitting here in Gordon Hunsberger Arena on the campus of Grand Rapids Community College. inside Ford Fieldhouse. Raiders showing some full court pressure now as they trail by 12. And there's a foul. That will be I believe the seventh team foul on the Raiders. Nope, only six. Here we go as Kellogg will take it out underneath the basket. And they get it quickly inbound to a cutting Watson, and Watson gets the bucket. 
Watson with seven on the day. Well, the whistles have come out a lot more here in the second half. And I'm not seeing that as um, the, the first half. There were just so few fouls called. I believe there were uh, three total. You hardly ever see that. And these are legit fouls. I'm just saying it, uh, like I said, it just uh, a lot more than the first half. 529 left, 7056 Bruins up at the stripe. Shooting a couple is uh, McRoberts. Actually, it's a one and one, and he misses a first. And it's going to be Raiders ball. Checking in for the Bruins was James Moore. Long three ball is no good. Let's see what Bruins do here. See if they treat a run a little clock down. And it gets swatted from behind. It'll be the Bruins. Be Bruins. Oh no, it uh, they got reverse. Good job by the officials communicating, so it's the Raider ball. It must have got swatted by me from behind and went off a, a Bruin. Little crossover, shot up, no good. And this is going to go to the Bruins. Under five to go. Bruins are in trouble. Well, they finally get it across. And shot up, no good. Put back, no good. Raiders grab it. Long pass up ahead. And that was just a tough pass. It's trying to be uh, unselfish, but that's a tough pass and catch that close away. 4.35 to go. 70-56. Bruins up. That goes out of bounds. Couple subs coming in for the Raiders. Mason Wilcox and Brady Tebow. And we're gonna have a foul, it's gonna be offensive. That's gonna be uh, number 22. James M. Isaiah Moore. Four twenty two left. And there is a steal by Kellogg and get the bucket was Brandon Moore. Raiders with it, long skip pass, three ball up from the corner, and that's good. From way downtown, it's Mason Wilcox. So the Raiders trail by 13 with 3.56 to go. We'll see if they got one more run in them right after these. Are you looking for a new career? Aetna Supply is hiring. Aetna Supply is Michigan's number one plumber wholesaler, servicing local customers for over 50 years. They offer great benefits, 401k with company match, quarterly bonuses, and no Sundays. Once again, check them out at aetnasupply.com slash careers, or click on their logo on the Michigan Sports Radio homepage. Bowling is a great time that combines great friends, football, and bowling. 
compete against your friends or family, throwing a football at 10 real bowling pins. The Folding Warehouse has over 30 lanes inside a 45,000 square foot facility. You can bring in your own food or they have a pair of 45 foot bars featuring soft drinks and adult beverages. Visit FoldingWarehouse.com Grand Rapids to reserve your lanes. Welcome back. 3.56 to go. 72.59. Bruins on top coming out of the timeout. Raiders showing full court press. Kellogg breaks it. And taking it in and getting the bucket. With James Moore. Three thirty left. Nice pass inside and getting the bucket. For the Raiders with number five, uh, Tebow. But the Bruins come back and answer right away. And now we got, what do we got? Uh, Raiders turn it over. Well, the Bruins are going to try to slow things down here. Well, in this second half, the Bruins have outscored the Raiders 37-31. And with the steal and the bucket was the group. 13-point game. Raiders with a trap. And we're going to have a foul. Be a one-on-one. One. Going to the free throw stripe. It's going to be number zero. Kamarian Tucker. went on its way. It's good. And the second one on its way is no good, but the Kellogg gets it back. And shot up no good. The two shotter. Eight team foul at the stripe will be Jakeem Cole. First one on the way is good. And checking in for Jared CC, Alex Zenas. Second one is good. That'll make it 79-63. Well, we got another foul. That on the Bruins. That's not going to make uh, Coach Profrock very happy. He wants that clock to run right now. He's got a sizable lead. J.D. DeGroote with a couple as he hits the first.
Second one is no good. And we got a lane violation. And that was a foul on the Raiders, so shooting free throws now. Well, G. James M. Isaiah Moore. First one is good. That'll make it 80 to 64. More with 12 on the night. Second one is good as well. 81 64, 235 left. There's a three ball up. That's no, well, now we have another foul. That's going to be whistled on more. So more with his third at the free throw line will be Enos. First one's good. Second one is no good. For the day, Raiders are 5 of 11 from the free throw line. Kellogg is 9 of 15. And there's a seal by the Raiders. Nice pass back and forth. Shot up. It's blocked. And Kellogg is going to come away with it. And we have another foul out there. I think this one is going to be on Brady Tebow. He's from Hamilton as well. His first. So it's a two-shotter. 2.07 to go. First one's good. And back in for the Raiders is Spencer Woolman. And now Kellogg will call timeout. Agamon's going to check in as well. We got 82-65. Looking at the stats, leading score is Tucker with 14, followed by Moore with 11, Nelson with 10, Cole with 13, Miller with 13, McCleary with 8, uh, Watson with 7, Carnell with two. That gives them 82 for Kellogg. For the Raiders, leading scorer is Woolman with 12, followed by Francis with 11, Jones with nine, Belcher with eight, DeGroote with seven, then Agamon with two, Tebow with two, Wilcox with six, Enos with three, McRoberts with three, and Skydema with two. Raiders, 28 of 71 from the field for 39%. Bruins, 34-78 for 43%. Turnover, it's been a pretty clean game. Uh, Raiders have 14. Bruins have 12. From the stripe, Bruins are 10 of 16. Raiders are 5 of 11. And the big score, or the big stat is the Bruins 82, the Raiders 65. Looking ahead, our next broadcast. Tomorrow night, t tomorrow is postponed till the 30th. So there was supposed to be a game tomorrow, but it's not going to be the 30th. That'll be our next broadcast from Grand Rapids Community College.
And Miller makes the free throw. That'll make it 83-65. Well, we're approaching that two-minute mark. Agamon in the backcourt, behind his back. In the corner now, faking the three, stepping in, and hitting the 18-footer with Spencer Wilman. Kellogg across the timeline with it. They're going to run some clock here. Firing one up and getting the roll was Nelson. Right back quickly the other way was a bucket by Tebow. 85-69 now. And getting the bucket for Kellogg was Tucker. As we have one minute left. Shot up, it's blocked, but they're going to call a foul. It'll be a two-shotter. So it's a two-shotter for Wilman. As he hits the first. Jaden Smiley checks in. Free throw up and free throw good. 87, 71, 55. Well, now uh, the Bruins are going to call a timeout. Uh, and it's a full timeout. So, well, I just read the stats a minute ago. So, uh, once again, if you want to see them after the fact, if you go to grccraiders.com, you can click on the schedule and find today's game. There's a live stat button. Tucker, once again, leading Kelloggsville with 16, or excuse me, Kellogg with 16. And Wilman leading the Raiders with 16. Basketball season is amongst us. It's the first basketball game I've called this year. Tomorrow there's a heavy day of high school football if you're a high school football fan. MichiganSportsRadio.com will feature four semifinals. Those games include South Christian versus Portland. Grand Rapids Catholic Central versus Frankenmuth, Muskegon versus East Lansing, and Forest Hill Central versus Zeeland West. All those games on MichiganSportsRadio.com kick off at 1 o'clock. 87-71, 55 ticks left. Kellogg'sville breaks the press. Raiders still hustling out there. In the post, shot up, and it's no good. Raiders with a rebound. Three ball up. No good, and it's going to be Kellogg basketball as they go in and get a layup. And we have a foul. So 15 ticks to go. First free throw is no good. So 
Second one is, that'll give uh, Wilman 17. Kellogg is just going to dribble this out, I would believe, as we're going to wind this down. So Kellogg comes in and is going to walk out of here with a victory by the score of 89-72. Once again, our next broadcast will be right here at Grand Rapids Community College on November 30th. My name is Brock Conco. Hope you enjoyed tonight's game. Once again, our final, Bruins 89, Raiders 72. Have a great weekend and have a happy Thanksgiving, everyone.